OK, let's open up the exercise files for this chapter and let's pick us out an image. I choose New Sketch 2. That's a JPEG, but that's OK. I want to show you two features in Photoshop that allow you to make adjustments to an adjustment. Let's start with the one that's been there the longest called Fade. So we have a very colorful image and we go up to the word Image and go down to Adjustments and pick your poison. How about you and saturation? That's a pretty aggressive one. So we kind of pull out that, and we pull this out a little, we pull that in a little, whatever. We're just playing around, but we, I don't know, we kind of like that. So we click OK. The next step must be performed right now. It's called Fade. It's under the word Edit. And you'll notice it says Fade You Saturation. If you do anything to this image, click a button, add a layer whatever, that'll be gone. So to use Fade, you have to really know what you're doing. You have to know you're applying an adjustment and know you want to change it. And if we come down here, we basically have an opacity. Now don't worry about blending modes. We're going to get into those later. Let's talk about just opacity. If I take it all the way down, I get the original image back. So I could say I want 50% of what I did. You know, maybe 49, maybe 50. So I want some of it, but not all of it. But the decision must be made right now. That, I think, is its weakness. So let's do this. I'm going to cancel out of here. Let's go into this button right here. And I am in the Essentials workspace. Don't forget that. That's our history. Now, if you're not into history, you're going to love it when we get to it. I'm going to click this button right here. And we're right back to the start again. What do we do now? We're going to change it again. But we're going to use an adjustment layer, which to me is working smart. Another thing about what we just did, we destructively edited that image. It was changed permanently. Check this out. Let's go to this button right here for adjustments. Guarantee you guys have been here. We're going to go into U and Saturation. So we're going at it a different way. We're not using the pull down menu. First off, you can tell we're not getting that floating dialog box. We're getting the properties panel. And inside the properties panel are the same options. For example, we can come over here and we can make some changes, maybe just about like what we did before. Stop. Close that down for a second. Here it is, over here. It's a separate layer. Now you see what this means. I can come back tomorrow and go, oh man, I wish I hadn't done that. What was I thinking? Gee, I wish I could go back to the original image. This is not about fade and doing it right away. This is about giving you control when you want to do it. Now, if we come back over to this one and select it, it'll pop back open in Properties Panel, and I can do everything to this image again, plus the one thing that Fade had was Opacity, and there it is right here. We can fade the adjustment layer and achieve the same result. Now, when Fade was out there and we didn't have this power of using adjustment layers, we planned ahead and we used it and we loved it. But I don't see why you would do this to an image destructively when you have something like this at hand. Fade and adjustment layers. On to the next.